The talk on managing carcinoid syndrome diarrhea will focus on the use of a novel agent called telotristat, ethyl or telotristat, um, which was recently FDA approved for carcinoid syndrome diarrhea on the basis of it improving um, or reducing bowel movement frequency. And this historically, carcinoid syndrome diarrhea has been managed with the use of somatostatin analogs, both long acting and short acting, like octreotide and lanreotide. And um, this is an, this is specifically for patients who are refractory to using those agents. So patients who maybe for many months to years have already been taking somatostatin analogs and may have reasonable control of their tumor but may have hormone related symptoms that um, then progress. So that can include in carcinoid syndrome things like flushing and diarrhea. The study um, the Telestar study focused on studying all of those symptoms, um, but what we found when patients were treated with telotristat, it was a three-arm trial looking at two different doses of telotristat, 250 milligrams three times a day, 500 milligrams three times a day, and then placebo during a 12-week double-blind period. Patients were allowed to use rescue, short-acting octreotide, and what we found is that in both of the experimental arms, um, patients had reduction in bowel movement frequency. And this was only on average by about two bowel movements a day, but for patients who have really bad diarrhea, this in many ways allowed them to get out of the house and gave them better quality of life. And so the focus of this talk is really, um, the presentation is gonna be talking about um, the agent itself, since it's relatively new, the mechanism of action, um, which it actually inhibits the rate-limiting enzyme in the synthesis of serotonin, and so tryptophan to serotonin, and so it's really targeted. We think that serotonin in many cases is responsible for these carcinoid syndrome um, symptoms.